What's going on guys? So today we are going Warwick in the jungle. I'm going to teach you guys a little bit of how I play Warwick, which is a lot more aggressive than most people. Um, lately I've been doing a lot of Warwick mid, uh, a lot of lane Warwick. Um, I just feel like people underestimate the amount of healing that you can do with your Q. Um, but we'll just go the standard build this time that I do, which will be a uh, Blue Smite Warrior. We're going to start blue. Why is he pinging me? Confused. Alright. I do my complete blue side, rotate to red, and then look to gank. So, um, your Q is your auto attack reset. It's a bite, a chomp, kind of like... Trundle's Q or Jax's W. So you don't want to use it whenever you want to use it on like higher health minions, if you can, because you heal for a percentage of the damage you actually deal. So I said I was going to go red but I actually feel like I'm clearing pretty fast right now, so I'm gonna be able to get this camp as well. So one thing that I don't really do as work, I never use E when clearing a camp. Because you should never, honestly, you should never die to a camp. Because your attack speed, whenever you're low, should be able to be enough to Like, uh, whenever the target's low, you attack faster. And the lower health you are, the more you heal. So, I just... I'm gonna wait, let that camp get, uh... Let him at least get the cannon. He's gonna flash. Alright, we're gonna have enough for a team at now though. So what my build, I uh first of all I max W first. Then uh a lot of times I go E second. And I go E second because a lot of situations I find myself in, it's not that I need to do more damage, it's that I need to sustain more. And your E as you rank it up goes from 35 damage reduction to 55 damage reduction percent which is huge whenever you're trying to duel someone or when you're in fights or whatever. But, uh, so after that, I go E and Q and I mix them, mix, I kind of mix those up a little bit, just depending on the situation. Like I constantly mix up everything that I do. Like I don't have like a set build, but I do go a lot more damage than most people. lane's too low, she might die, hell. <laughs> Dragon's gonna be up soon. He is top. So if you auto attack and then hold down Q, you won't be displaced when the dragon starts and knocks everyone back. Your Q also, so your Q works like a chomp, right? I didn't really break down all the abilities. Your Q, if you hold down Q, you attach to your target and you swing around them, dealing so much damage and healing for a percentage of that damage you deal. But while you're swinging around them, you can't be displaced. You're basically like a, a Yumi, right? Because you become attached to them. So even if you get like Thresh hooked or Mouth Idol Seed or whatever, you, they won't um, displace you. A few things that can happen though is you can be like Cinder's knockback, right? Her knockback, if you ulti, it will wait until after you land and then knock you back. But her Q will not. Like her Q will be will just knock you back. Like it 
I mean, or, um, or no, sorry, her knockback. If she knocks you back while you're queuing, it won't displace you. But if you ulti right before, like normally you can't be displaced during your ulti, but it'll actually knock you back um, after you land. It doesn't make any sense, but that's just the way it works. So here we're gonna go in, hold down E, wait for he has to go through us, and then Q. Not good. Rip. It's time. So yeah, I like to go warrior into uh, Trinity Force, typically, or Bork, depending on like their um, comp. If they're tankier, then I'll go Bork first. If not, then I'll go Triforce and then Bork. And then like a Spear Visage and a uh, like a Randuins or Frozen Heart even. Like a lot of people will tell you whenever you play Warwick to go Cinder Hulk into Titanic Hydra. And I'm just not about that. There's not enough damage. You can't really like your fights just take too long. And I'm not really, I don't know, I I just feel like I don't do enough damage to heal off of the damage that I'm doing to make me like relevant. Yes, so I just warded this. So I'm gonna come up here and hit this plant and clear it. your damage reduction so you want to hold it when fight facing a Yi it's better to hold that a little bit longer reduce the damage that he's doing to you and then uh, try popping it right whenever he's about to auto attack it's a little difficult because you auto attacks fast but if you can interrupt their auto attack animation it just uh, delays the amount of damage you'll be able to do to you I hold E, I hold E, I auto attack, Q, C, I'm at, auto attack, wait for it to pop, wait till I'm low health, and then I ulti. Okay. Nicely done. So, whenever you gank like that in lane, what you want to do is, uh, Like when you hold your Q, you go through them. Oh, here we go. And you can use that, like when you're going through them, to. I'm so slow. <laughs> He's just not fast enough. <laughs> so, what well, you're gonna wanna do, like I was saying, um, you go to lane, typically they're running away from you towards their base. If you hold Q, go through them. As you start going through them, press your E, and then by the time you've gone all the way through them, your E should be back up. Like, you should be able to reactivate your E to fear them the other direction towards um, your laner. You gotta do something right there. See, he had he was in his W, so I wanted to fear him so that way it would knock him out of his W so we could burst him down. Sorry if I'm a little sporadic in um, everything that I keep saying. Uh, I have ADHD, so it's hard for me to focus on one thing at a time, and playing and doing this is just a little difficult. Trying to break down everything for you. 
As a jungler, you want to try to make sure you're constantly doing something. You don't really want to do like a lot of standing around or waiting. Um, especially since they changed the jungle camps to spawn 30 seconds faster. Like, there's always something you could be doing, pretty much. Let me get this and go ahead and back. Sometimes I will, if I'm close enough to 3300, I'll just wait until I have 3300 back and then get a Bork. Like, if you can get an early, if you can get a first back Bork, it's absolutely disgusting. And I'm actually going to go Bork right now. Mostly because I had 1,000 gold, not 1,050. If I had 1,050, I would have gotten the uh, Sheen for the Trinity Force. It's just all kind of, I want to maximize the amount of gold that I have at all times. So if I, if I had like 900 there, I probably would have got boots and two attack speed. So for me to, for, to clear camps, I just auto attack, Q, Tiamat, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, and it should be dead. Go ahead and go E now. One thing you can do is smite a camp early to make it to where you're passive on your W, which is um, attack speed whenever your enemies are low. Like once you get that back up. Oh. <laughs> New me ulti, nice. Go look at getting this Rift Herald before 14 minutes. Go pop it on a tower or something. I don't know, we might not be able to. The uh, plates go away at 14 minutes. So to not take as much damage from the Rift Herald, if you actually go through it when he, when he swings, he won't hit you. I did that just to get movement speed towards it. So I want to hopefully get that off and hit the tower before. This we'll see. Nice, we got the plates. Very nice. You don't get much closer than that. Mid's missing, top's missing. I gotta be a little careful here. I'm not gonna smite early because I don't know where he's at and I don't want him to show up and now smite me for it. Like, smite it away. But there's a lot of times, like, if I know I'm not gonna be contested there, I will just smite as soon as I get to the camp. I'm gonna smite him. If you wait, so I don't know if you saw that or not. Damn, I played that bad. I played it good at first, but like so I knew his tornado was coming and that you can't be displaced while you're ulting. So if you ulti as his tornado is hitting you, then you won't be like moved. That's a really good um, trick you can do, but I ended up not killing him and I had to flash into him to or go back into him to kill him. You know, Dragon in 40 seconds. I'm going to go get red and then head straight there. I believe our team is upset with each other. I don't know why. Yes, yeah, so I'm working towards Bork. It's nice about having warriors, we do get 10% cooldown reduction. Plus plenty of AD. Bork, if you don't know how that works, um, basically you do 12% of their maximum health as bonus physical damage, as a melee.
plus it has an active where you can target a single target and it'll slow them you steal like a percentage of their movement speed or an amount of their movement speed i'm not sure which one So I tried to displace the Yumi before she um, I tried to displace Yumi before she got inside of you because she can't um, she can't go inside you if she's been CC'd for like three to five seconds or something. I'm not sure which, but it would have made it so much easier to kill her. That's right, it worked out. And to me, I, I don't know if this is meta or not, or what people's opinions are on it, but I prefer to steal camps than to take towers. Like instead of coming mid initially, like a lot of people would do, I would rather go and secure the wave. Because I feel like if they don't have, like, taking a camp from someone that they're about to get, that's like taking gold from them. Like, the gold that you would get from the tower, you'll get eventually. But, like, you taking the gold from them is, I think, more valuable. I don't know. Like, it depends on the macro of the game, too. Like, situations, if you think rotations are going to work right or not. But, or if you need, like, to free up a lane. It's all situational. Okay, we come back now and finish our Bork and get some boots. We'll go boots and then uh, Sheen. Sheen's gonna make it to where your next attack after you use an ability does bonus damage, pretty much. No, Yumi, get away from me. This is gross. They took so many tower shots, the colleague's doing pressure though. So one thing you cannot queue through is a, uh, a Vigar wall in case you did not know that um you can't like hold q and follow them through the wall it'll actually like lock you down inside of it for some reason there's a few other things too like a uh, ribbon her stun thing I'm not sure what it is classified as exactly but I can show you guys how the old uh, Lissandra knockback works if you want. She stays in the lane here. Nope, she didn't. You W just to see. You can hold, press W to see if uh, anybody's within a pretty big radius. About half a lane.
We can go Baron. So right now, like right, I don't have any health basically at all. But I do so much attack. I have so much attack speed and so much damage that I'm just gonna be able to heal, out heal the damage that I take. Hello, let's go. So we can smite early because it was gonna we have our other smite up in 15 seconds. The only thing that sucks right now is we don't have much mana, so I think I'm actually going to stop using my Q in case we do get into a fight. Actually use going to dragon, so. No dragon, it's theirs. There's no point in fighting for it. Gotta get my top farm here. Yeah, so like my playstyle, basically my whole thing is to just go, 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 go. Like I never, like once I'm in a fight, very rarely do I just like run away. Like if I'm, if I ever try to leave, I ulti away. Almost always. Uh, we'll do Merc Treads. Like, um, basically I just, I constantly just keep like going because I'm doing like the more damage I do the more I heal so I just want to like keep the pressure down keep the pressure on just keep going and god damn this is not good this is not good not without Bane it's a good dodge Let's see if I can snag this blue real quick We don't want to fight this. They have numbers. It's 5v3 right now. We do not want to fight. We just want to keep them from backing. Okay, screw it. I felt like the other laners had left them. basically have enough for Trinity Force right now. We definitely will after Red Buffer. After Trinity Force, I'm gonna go um, Spear Visage to help against the Syndra. The, like what you get with Square Visage, the bonus healing, it's just uh, invaluable. On Warwick. Like, so with Square Visage, you get 450 health, 55 magic resist, 100 base health regen, which is meh, and 10% uh, cooldown reduction. And then the passive on it is increase all healing received by 30%. Yeah, 30%. I cleared that camp back. Our team just wants to fight, 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 fight. I'm gonna wait for my E until I have my Q up. 
because if you if you do your E too fast, then you'll end up uh, being slowed. Because when you use your E, it slows you a little bit. Yeah, if you guys uh, are liking the content so far, feel free to subscribe. Um, I am a Warwick and Trundle main. I uh, will have a lot of Warwick videos up. I plan on doing like a lot of like skin reveal type videos on the PvE. Like on uh, like the testing grounds. Like there's going to be a new Morgana skin coming out. And I'll just be like, any chance that I play a little bit of, I'll probably play a game show. Like the new skins and let you guys get a glimpse of them before they actually come out. It's been a pretty big, pretty good game for us so far. I wouldn't be surprised if they oops, surrender and we'll come down to this in Baron. the vein get the kill because I'm pretty big she needs kills this game is hella over though we just got ocean soul which is going to regenerate 160 health over four seconds after damaging an enemy See, I don't mind taking damage like that, because all I have to do is come up here and I have full health again. <laughs> so, like, taking that damage from Syndra doesn't really mean anything to us. No! Rip. Dang. GG easy. That was a bad play on my part. So I feel like the next fight we're going to end up ending the game, or the game will be decided. So I'm going to go ahead and buy one of these elixirs. Um, a lot of times people wait until they've been full build, but honestly this game is going to end soon. I feel like I'm not going to back again before the game's over. Like we have the potential of closing it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy an elixir now. Like what the elixir is going to do is give me 300 health, 25 tenacity, and... Um, 15% movement speed for my allies that are running towards me. And as being the engager, that's good. Especially the tenacity. Tenacity is pretty solid for us. I didn't know who sent us basically, it doesn't matter. We should be able to end here, no problem. Yep. Alright guys, that is uh That is how I play Warwick Jungle. Warrior into Trinity Force into Um Or Warrior into Warwick in this case, then Trinity Force. See our damage.
Not bad. Talented, solid. Urbane, Jesus. Let's see our runes, our PTA. Total damage, 1740. Bonus damage. Okay, 1069. We, uh, let's see, try, da, da, da. yeah, not bad. I take Press the Attack, Triumph, Alacrity, Coupe de Gras, Sudden Impact, and Ingenious Hunter. Let's see, where's the, uh, let's go back here. So we're 11, 5, and 13. 218 farm, and what, how long was it? 30 minute game, so. What is that, like six a minute? Something like that? No. Seven a minute? It's not bad. Could be better, but trying to talk all the, like through all this was a little more difficult. Um, but yeah, subscribe, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for checking me out. Deuces.